So here we are now with, uh, with Karen Carney. Karen, of course, Birmingham City ladies and England, the Lionesses. Um, before we ask you about um, your career as such, uh, days like this when you started playing, was there anything like this about? No, because I was probably the only girl. Um, so it's, it's fantastic to see how many girls here. I think the scheme this week was to try and get 5,000 girls to sign up to play football and um, every, it's, it's been smashed and there's 16,000 that have signed up, which is amazing and um, you know it's really good to see because I definitely didn't have that when I was growing up. Yeah, but when did, when did you start your, your career? When did you start um, playing? Was that obviously at school? Was yeah, it? I started playing at schools like the only girl and then went to after school, S similar to this, but kind of like um, in the summer holidays and the Christmas period when my mum didn't want me in the house. <laughs> um, so she pushed me onto there and, and I just loved football so much um, and, and that's where it kind of started for me. And when did Birmingham City find you? Um, when I was 11, I went to, like, again, it was probably um, a local girls team was put together by a woman called Rachel Pablo, who's now pretty high up in the FA. Yeah. Um, a Villa fan who tried to get me to sign for Villa <laughs> and I wasn't having any of it. Um, and so I picked Blues because I was a Blues fan. So at 11, I went and signed for Birmingham. So it was a no brainer for me. Mm. And, and for you now, the, the club that you support and, and you love, yeah. and, and that moment when you, you had your 100 caps for England, you were inaugurated into the Hall of Fame at Blues, yeah. what was that like? It was amazing. I think um, I think it really hit home when I got put in the Hall of Fame, just because I was that, that girl, that, that um, fan that had, my birthday's the 1st of August, and every 1st of August I'd have the new Blues kit. Mm. So I was just a typical fan. I mean, two, three weeks ago I was with the Blues fans at the Blues Villa game. I'm just a regular person that support the football club and have been, Steve Claridge was my favourite player. So to be walking the team out, to be the first female on the front of the programme um, and to be inducted into the Hall of Fame was literally um, breathtaking really, it was amazing and I have to give credit to the football club for doing that because I don't think that's really really been done for a female yeah. so yeah. it's very forward thinking by them. It's, it's great and, and coming on to days like this, it's, it's this week, it's the FA, uh, FA Girls Football Week, yep. uh, as you said early 16,000 people across the country sign up. Um, what, does, what, what have you noticed of, uh, about the increase and, and uptake in girls being interested in football? Has, has it come up on since you, had, you guys in England had the success in the world? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, we have a lot of pressure to be successful from the national team because we're kind of the face of it. And if we don't, we're not successful. Obviously, the media don't support us, and then people don't see the actual mm. actual game. So we had a fantastic campaign at the World Cup, getting the bronze medal, and everyone really got behind us. The whole nation did, and we definitely mm. inspired the nation. I feel, um, and now. Girls are just excited to play football. Our WSL attendances are 50% up. Um, like, to, like days like today, we've tripled the um, signing rate that we ex expected. So um, the national team have definitely helped, and obviously the media have followed. And credit to them who've supported us as well. And because women's football more on TV now, with various channels showing a lot more, that always helps. And it's lovely today yourself for taking the time out, and Laura, of course, has, has come along with you. And to see some of these girls, you like great role models for them aren't you and they're queuing up for pictures and autographs and selfies with you i know it's scary for them is it <laughs> um no it's cool i just was laughing at some of them playing because they remind me of me uh, when i was a young kid and um this is what football is all about it's about like just coming with your mates having a kick around um, a minging wet english day <laughs> and uh, cold and dreary and just having fun um i think sometimes even i forget that why i got involved into football now because it's quite far-fetched and the other end for um, business end for me now but this is reminds me back of grassroots and I, I really like coming to these events and seeing the kids just happy and playing as that's what it's all about I mean your season is, is about to, to, to end for, for this this time round so what what do you do close season what do you what are you up um, to? for the first time in probably like five years I'm gonna try and go on holiday um, <laughs> but we have international so although the domestic season ends you know there's a, been a squad announced that, that the England team will go to China for a couple of weeks in a tournament there and so it kind of still goes on and then we have a month off where we just rest and then we go again really so um, it doesn't really stop for us um, but I'm gonna make it um, you know I'm gonna make it sure that I do go on holiday and do get a break because it's been a really taxing year but a fantastic year but um, on the back of the World Cup it's been quite draining for all of us but obviously it was it was well worth it okay brilliant and, and your support for days like this is, is, is fant fantastic um, I don't know if you've had chance so I don't know I was round yet but spotted any uh, potential 
start of the future? I wouldn't tell you because I'd try and tap them up, so um, <laughs> I'd get into trouble, wouldn't I? But um, I'd be like, come play for Blues. <laughs> but, um, but no, I'm sure there's loads here that I'll, I'll be able to pick out and push them in the right direction. OK, Karen, thanks for your Thank time you. now and look forward to seeing you again uh, next season.